Welcome back to Half House Garage. We got a slave cylinder. We've got a clutch. We got some metals. It's fixing to be a good afternoon. Stay tuned. This might be the one time I'm speechless. All right, so as I said, we've got a slave cylinder. That is now test fitted. That is the right thing. I wasn't a thousand percent sure, but now I am. Uh, we do have to take the measurement from where the torque tube is currently, where it meets up to this face, is about there. So I have to measure from here to here to know how much we're going to cut out of that firewall. We have the clutch on uh, because once I got the center centering device tool, the clutch tool, whatever. Um, I just slammed it on real quick. It's everything was good. I put it together that way. That's done. Everybody has, has seen a clutch come on. So uh, I do want to remove this whole catastrophe and work on this. We'll see if we get to this because our main course today is using some of that plate, some of this bad daddy plate right here to go ahead and fix. I have to censor it with my hand. It's so bad. Let's, uh, let's do some measurements, and then we'll do some, some measurements, and then we'll do some cuttings, because that's going to be the fun part. All right, kids, so uh, unfortunately there's a light in there, so I'll try to do one of those. Um, we've marked it. This piece is coming out also, but down and then across. This i got to clean up and just do some uh, like body work to and fill that a little bit with a little piece. This is just going to get cleaned up uh, because we're going to change where my pedal is regardless and it'll be driven off of the firewall or uh, hanging uh, throttle so it's not based off the floor so I can move the pedal where I need to either way I needed to move it forward but I can move all that stuff when I do the brakes and I I could bend the levers I'm gonna end up moving where the pedals are so that's fine uh, and then down to here across basically the same height and uh, that will get a removable panel for the starter to come in and out uh, with rib nuts, I gotta steal my buddy's rib nut gun, and then, uh, or tool, and then this is all gonna get replaced here, recessed in just a bit here. So, let's do it. Whoa. Got me like, whoa. All right, so what I'm gonna do is there, I'm actually going to carefully cut the, like, maybe hole saw? If not, I'm gonna very carefully cut around that so I could sleeve a piece of pipe way up there, or at least a de decent ways, and um, sleeve that for added rigidity. Uh, I am, I do not have anything on this side. Um, I. You have to fix some of the wheel well, but that's that's from inside. I'll, I'll mess with that after. Uh, so yeah, um, ideally, in a smart world, I would put the motor in and use cardboard aided design to map it out. But thankfully, I don't really need to because I just know it was crushed in. So because. I know where everything has to go and how far everything has to sit. I can actually just bolt up that to that because everything else already knows where it's going and this I just needed to access. That's why I cut a big hole like an idiot because it broke and I had to replace it and I was not taking the motor out so I was an idiot. Um, so I just need to make sure that is properly covered and then it can come up and then the starter. which. I can also bolt on. This is gonna be great! Jim Dandy! Yeah. This is gonna suck.
coordinated design going on here. Obviously, still need to do that piece, but um, it is sitting on it only for the fact that my spacers came out, but I held it up and I'll obviously be able to just trim and pull up to the right height here uh, when I do that. But let's look inside. Oh, look at this color. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. So this is this, this, and that are going to be one well, are going to be one piece. You know, I'm going to probably not bend a piece. I'll probably have to weld it there, but you get the idea. Uh, this is going to be one piece. This is going to be a removable piece. So I'm going to have to put some tabs or maybe a lip around and then also a lip off of this. So I have a couple points here, here, and then down here I'll do rib nuts so that this is a removable plate uh, so that I can get to the um, starter. Ah, uh, what else we got down here? That's where my pedal was. Uh, my brake pedal is still here. Um, maybe? There it is. There's the dingle doodle up there. Okay. So that's where the brake pedal sits. So that's one of the other things, is I hate where the brake pedal sat in this thing. Braking clutch, pretty, pretty good right there. Let's uh, get you some light here. It's very hard to see because of all the wires, which will be cleaned up soon. Um, so yeah, so you've got the brake and the clutch that line up pretty good. And then the gas pedal is what I'm going to have to remount. I'm going to get a Jetta one that hangs instead of pivoting off the floor. So I'm going to cut this little dingled up, doodled up thing off. And then, um, yeah. So then I'll have ample amount of room to be able to put... Oh, man, all the stuff. Well, we're going to see how y'all are doing here because uh, I bought a lot of parts off you, so... Yeah, so we got this this little tyke. So uh, this will end up doing something like this really easily. I'll just be able to make some mounts. Look at that. We've already got uh, nuts, whatever the hell. Oh, well, yeah, whatever those are, nuts, I guess. Uh, I don't know if that's for the top thing or if that could be used for this, but I will make a little mount off of the little mount hole they give you on each side there. Kind of see it. Anyway. Uh, and mount that so that I can go ahead and have at least two vents and defrost. So that's going to be good. And I did find the ducting that I needed for the vent. Uh, and then the heater controls. So I'm going to put these back in. I have to go ahead and get a new uh, wire for the hot to cold you know on the bottom there and I'm, I'm going to try to reuse this knob if not i'm going to put the knob in place that the kit came with uh though i've heard they have issues so we'll see it's just a potentiometer versus multiple wires so we'll we'll, we'll see how i want to wire this but i got or i had still the on off valve that's now on the floor uh, so i have the on off valve so that i can turn the coolant it actually will turn off so that, ooh, I don't know what's in there, but okay. Um, to stop letting coolant through so that on really hot days, I don't have another radiator sitting in my car killing me. That looks awesome. I'm excited about that. So I'm going to look at transferring it and transferring it to metal. That's what we're going to do. Um, actually, I retract that. I'm going to use this chunk, and then we're going to transfer it to metal. It's going to be good. All down here, I'm going to have to hit in and make sure it matches up and make sure I weld it nice. All this, I've got to clean all of this and weld her up. Well, cut her out, then weld her up. So that, that big plate, or that big piece is going to be that plate, I believe. The main firewall piece is going to be that. This is going to be the littler pieces. All right, let's do it.
You guys won't believe this. Check this out. Huzzah! So I gotta bend it right there in so that I've got something else to weld to, whatnot. Um, I don't necessarily think I need that there, but that will give me a nice uh, spot to weld to and make sure I can box all this stuff in nice with this new plate when I go down to here. So it'll be nice and strong right here with that pipe going through it. Um, we have enough room. It's like four and a half inches strong and we've got about five. It's actually higher up here so we actually have more room. Here we've got like five and a quarter here. So worst case I'll just give that a little bit more cushions here. Uh, but yeah that's, uh, that's what we needed there. So that's like barely four and a half. Barely. So you got enough room to be able to put a heater hose right through it. Feed return somewhere right around there. Um, not necessarily that hole, that was just in the piece of metal. And uh, I don't know <clears throat> what I did there, but I'm gonna cut that straight there. So I'm gonna cut that, slice that just a little bit so I can bend it, and then cut that little ear off right there. Uh, being held in with the self tap, that's probably gonna how it's how it's gonna be. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so once I do this flat and get this all straightened out, I am going to do this piece because it's already been cut out right there. And uh, I'm gonna bend that up. And this is, this is, this is both very well. I'm actually kind of excited at my, uh, my metal skills here. So let's keep rolling. Kids, so uh, we've got some things going on here. Uh, obviously, self-tappers are not going to be the resolution here. Uh, I'm going to end up welding it, and then I am going to put some putty just to... I tried to bang this out, and it's just pretty messed up in there. So I'm going to end up doing some uh, some glass there to clean that up. Uh, but over here is phenomenal. Little, I wish I had a little bit more, because I wanted to... Some of these I'm going to end up drilling and uh, spot welding. But uh, I am gonna do a nice bead around all the way, all the way to here, down and around, down, around, and then from the other side and the inside, well, I lied, this plate's gonna come second, this plate's gonna go first and be welded along the seam, and then this is gonna get welded over it. And then a couple, uh, you know, it's gonna be welded down and around, and then I'll fill those couple holes in. I'll do the same, I'm gonna spot weld all around here, seam weld that, Seam weld up here, up there, down, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna make a plate that goes here, and then obviously wrap up. Let's see what this looks like from the inside. So, look at that. It doesn't look like a hell of a lot, but I only need to connect a little bit more. Very happy with this. Obviously the self tapper is not staying, as I said, but this looks phenom. This is gonna be good. I'm very excited by this. Yeah, that looks good. That's, that's some goodness down there. Up there. Oh, oh, oh. And the best part is, it's time to eat. So, this will be part one of, I don't know, you know, we'll see what this is. But either way, if this is mid video or the end of the video, do me a favor, give me a like and subscribe because, uh, yeah, this is going to keep going and, and this is going to be a lot of fun. This is, oh, this is going to be good. It's, it's, oh, 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 and oh. We're long and prosper, people. See you soon. <laughs>